Number 34, a 10 kilogram brick moves along an x-axis. Its acceleration as a function of its position is shown in this graph over here. The scale of the figure's vertical axis is set by AS equals to 20 meters per square second. So this is 20 over here. What is the net work performed on the brick by the force causing the acceleration as the brick moves from x equals to 0 to x equals to 8 meters? So for any generic force, we can calculate its work by doing the integral of the force dot product with the displacement. So this is from the initial position to the final position. However, this is for any dimensional problem, like three-dimensional three problem. In our case, we only have one dimension, so I, we can simplify uh, this equation by the initial x position, the final x position, and this is f times dx. Okay, so this is the equation that we can use to find the work. However, we don't know the value of f, we don't know the value of the force. We know from Newton's second law that f is equal to mass times acceleration. The mass we know it is 10 kilograms and the acceleration we don't but we can find the acceleration from this graph over here. The acceleration is not constant but we can see that it follows a first degree equation and a, a first degree equation goes something like this, some generic letter this is our x over here plus something, let's say, b. So this is a first degree equation. And in our case, when x equals to 0, a equals to 0 as well. So we can see that b goes to 0 in our equation to find a. So a is equal to some constant value times x. And we have to find the, the value of this constant over here. One way to do that is to just divide uh, delta A is equal to beta delta X since beta is constant so delta A over delta X is equal to beta. Okay so we can just take the initial and the final position and apply here and find the value of beta. For example, we can take this initial point and this final point over here. So it will be, let's see, 20 over 8, which is equal to beta. So beta is equal to 2.5. So if you want to get a maximum score in this problem over here, you probably want to add the unit here for the beta. The easiest way to figure out the, the unit of the beta is just take the unit of those numbers over here, for example, this is 20 meters per square second and you are dividing by 8 meters. So this gives us 2.5, 1 over S squared, right? Because you cross out the masses. So beta is equal to 1 over S squared. So now we know the acceleration. The acceleration is equal to 2.5x and we can replace the acceleration in the force over here and then throw it over there. So it will be the work is equal to the integral from 0 to 8 of 2.5 times x times dx. So this is going to be 2.5x squared over 2 from 0 to 8. And this is going to be 2.5 times 8 squared over 2. Oh, we, we forgot the mass, right? Uh, we have to add the mass over here. So there is a 10 over here. 10. And this is 25 times 64 over 2. And this gives us 800, right? 800? 800 joules. And that's the answer of this problem.